let's move forward and work on uh, bubbles arms we're gonna start with a gray color yarn and chain seven as we did on the legs One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Starting from second change from the hook, we're gonna go on our first row and have five single crochets into the five chains we have. One, two, three, four, five. Into our last chain, we're going to make three single crochets. So in here, we will have three. One, two, and three. We are going to work around the foundation chain. So on the opposite side, we will have four single crochets into the next four chains. One. Two, three, and four. And into the last chain, we will make an increase. So two stitches over here. One and two into the same stitch. This is my first round of the arm. I'm working with gray color yarn. As I said, I would have liked to have black color yarn, but it's not so easy to, to see stitches on a black color. Now let's go ahead to our second round where we will start with an increase. Let's place a stitch marker. and have our increase so two single crochets into the same stitch on next four stitches we'll have four single crochets one two three and four Into the next three stitches, we'll have three increases. That means two single crochets in each of the three stitches. This is my first increase. I'm going to the second one. This is my second one. And this will be my third increase. Over the next four stitches, we'll have four single crochets. And then we will be finishing with two increases into the last two stitches. So two single crochets into each of the next two stitches. This is one increase. I'm going to do one more. This is my second increase. And now I finished 
second row with 20 stitches. If you want to double check, you can start counting. On row three, we start with, with one single crochet one single crochet into the first stitch and then an increase into the next one so i'm gonna have two stitches into the same two single crochets into the same stitch so this is my increase one single crochet increase over the next five stitches we'll have five single crochets one two three four and five into the next stitch i'm gonna make more more i'm gonna work more more stitches i hope i'm saying it right i'm writing it down in case it's not so easy to understand to understand what i'm saying in the next stitch we will have one single crochet so into this one we'll have one single crochet into the same stitch i'm gonna do one half double crochet so yarn over go into the same stitch and pull the yarn to all the three loops a half a double crochet so yarn over go into the same stitch pull the yarn go into the first two stitches and then into the last two and i'm gonna finish with a half double crochet into the same stitch this is what i've done we can go for further and have a decrease so i go into the front loops of the next two stitches and make a decrease into the next one we'll do the same as in here so one single crochet one half double crochet into the same stitch so yarn over go into the same stitch pull the yarn through all three loops yarn over make a double crochet i go into the same stitch i pull my yarn through two loops and then pull my yarn through the, the other two loops and i'm doing one more half double crochet into the same stitch and pull my yarn through all three loops now over the next five stitches we'll have five single crochets one two three four and five and we are going to finish with one single crochet increase repeat two times so we'll have one single crochet into this stitch into the next one we'll have an increase so two single crochets into the same stitch this is my first increase i'm gonna go ahead and do my last one one single crochet and an increase in here so two single crochets into the same stitch this is how my third row looks like we can go ahead and work on work further on our fourth row which means we need to do 28 single crochets into back loops only so this is a normal single crochet this is the front loop 
and I'm gonna go into this one which is the back one and I'm gonna make a single crochet this would be my first single crochet of the round of the fourth round okay so I'm gonna do this all the way till we we arrive to our stitch marker we're gonna do it into the back loops this is my second single crochet again into the back loop my third my fourth and let's do this until we get to our stitch marker remember back loops only I finished row four and I'm, I've made my back loops only single crochets into each of the stitches so we have 28 stitches by the end of row four on the fifth row we will start with three single crochets decrease and we will repeat that two times And now I will go into the whole stitch. This is my first stitch. So I have one, two, three single crochets and a decrease. I go into the back loops only into the front loop solely, I'm sorry, of the next two stitches and I have my decrease. I'm going to do that one more time. So one, two, three, and into the next front loops, I'm going to do my decrease. okay so we had three single crochet decrease repeat two times the next one will be an increase into this stitch we'll have an increase so two single crochets into the same stitch we will continue with two decreases my first decrease my second into the next stitch I will have an increase so two single crochets into the same stitch into the next two stitches I will have two single crochets one and two and then we will have three single crochets decrease repeat two times one two three one decrease and then one, two, three, and the decrease to finish my round. On our sixth row we will have one single crochet decrease repeat eight times by the end of the round we will have 16 stitches one single crochet into the next one I'll have a decrease the next ones and again one single crochet 
decrease one single crochet decrease and we continue doing that till we arrive to our stitch marker which we should finish our round with a decrease and just to double check you can count your stitches and you'll see you have 16 stitches and let's go ahead to our seven round and we should have 16 single crochets over our 16 stitches at the end of the round we will be changing colors so this is my first second third fourth fifth sixth stitch seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, and here we are, this is our 16th stitch, I'm going to insert my hook, grab the gray yarn, and I'm not going to finish with my gray color yarn because I, as I said at the end of the yarn of, at the end of the row we're going to change colors. I'm going to grab my other color yarn into these two loops to change colors. So like this. Now I can take my stitch marker and continue with row row 8 where we have 16 single crochets so we're going to do the same the exact same thing but using the other color yarn the one that you chose let's see i'm going to go into the first stitch and have my first single crochet i'm going to grab the gray yarn and pull it so I won't have my stitch to lose, my last stitch. So this is my first single crochet. I have to do 15 more. My second. my third, fourth, my fifth, I can go ahead and cut these remaining yarn tails that I'm not using and they are in my way. I finished my eighth row. Now I'm in my last in my last gray stitch and I can continue with round nine where we have one single crochet, one bubble stitch into the next stitch and repeat that eight times. So I go here and have my first single crochet. This is where I place my stitch marker 
and into the next stitch we'll have a bubble stitch now we have five loops on our hook we can finish our bubble stitch and again one single crochet into the next one we will have a bubble stitch so I yarn over and pull through two loops I won't finish this I yarn over I go into the same stitch pull through two loops yarn over go into the same stitch pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops now I have five loops on my hook and I'm ready to finish my bubble stitch and I'm gonna do this all over this round again and again till I finish my ninth round and I should have 16 stitches all together I finished row 9 and I end up with 16 single crochets I finished with a bubble stitch now on row 10 we have two single crochets decrease repeat four times at the end of 10th row we will have 12 stitches I uh, went ahead and stuffed my arm a little bit you can go ahead and do the same so row 10 two single crochet decrease this is my first single crochet my second and then a decrease let's do that again one single crochet two single crochets and then a decrease and we repeat that all the way till our stitch marker on row 11 we have one single crochet one bubble stitch into the next stitch and we will repeat that six times in total we will have 12 stitches so let's start our 11 row one single crochet I will do a bubble stitch into my next stitch Now I have five loops on my hook. I can finish my bubble stitch. Pull the working yarn to all my loops. And again. One single crochet. Five loops on my hook let's pull the working yarn and I continue I continue doing this all the way to the stitch marker and we should have six bubble crochets and six single crochets so 12 stitches in total 
I finished row 11 with one single crochet, one bubble stitch into the next stitch. And now I can go to row 12 where we have 12 single crochets into our 12 stitches. This is my first single crochet, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Row thirteen, sorry for that. Row thirteen is one single crochet, one bubble stitch. Repeat that six times. So one single crochet into the next stitch and one bubble stitch into the other stitch. We should have in total 12 stitches. So this is my first single crochet. Into the next one I have a bubble stitch. Now I have five loops on my hook. I can grab the working yarn through all five loops to have my bubble stitch. And I will repeat that till I get to my stitch marker. I finished my 13 round. I can go ahead and work my 14th round where we have 12 single crochets into our 12 stitches. Before going on our 14 round, let's stuff our, our arm a little bit. You can do that whenever you feel like. The idea is to have a stuffed toy before closing the arm. And I don't want it too tight. I don't want it to be firmly stuffed. So round 14. 12 single crochets into our 12 stitches. And mark my first stitch. And I continue. So 12 stitches in total. We'll go to 15 rows and we'll have our last round of single crochets and bubble stitches. So we'll have one single crochet, 
one bubble stitch into the next stitch and we will repeat this six times so in total we'll have 12 single crochets I place my marker into my first stitch and the next stitch the next stitch will be a bubble stitch now I have five loops on my hook and I can finish my bubble stitch and I continue doing this so one single crochet and one bubble stitch into the next stitch till I finish the round In total, we should have 12 stitches. I finished row 15 with ending up with 12 stitches. As I said, this is the last round where I use bubble stitch. You should have one, two, three, four rounds with bubble stitches. And from round 16 till round 18, including the 18 round, we will only be single crocheting, 12 single crocheting. So three rounds with 12 single crochets. This is my first round. Of single crochets I should do two more so from round 16 to 18 we will only be single crocheting I'll meet you there after finishing your single crochets I've around I've arrived to my 18 round so at the end of my arm we had three rounds with single crochets 16 17 18 12 stitches on each round now what we should do is to fold our arm in half in half and have six single crochets through both sides of the arm and then fasten off leaving a long tail for sewing this is the front part of the arm and this is the back side let's now have six single crochets through both layers I like to work pretty tight this is one two three four five and my last one my sixth now I can I can cut my yarn leaving a long tail for sewing to the body so this is how my first arm looks like I don't like to stuff it too much it will go on the body
Let's do one more arm using the same the same instructions because we need to have two of those of these. Here are my arms for bubbles. I have two of them. I'm going to show you the body again. And then we also have the head.